Hello and what's up everybody, Thunderbob here, and tonight we're going to be checking out some Diablo 2 Resurrected. Specifically, we're going to be checking out a mod. This is the Diablo 2 Mod Generator, also known as the Randomizer. This was a pretty popular mod maybe two or three years ago in the original Diablo 2, and uh, a version of this has just recently been released for Resurrected. And what this is, is it allows you to randomize a bunch of different factors in the game. Uh, items, monsters, skills, density... Um, and not only randomize it, you can actually go in and customize most of these settings. We're going to go through here. And I'm going to show you the settings I'm using for my current uh, playthrough tonight and uh, kind of just talk through some of the different options here and uh, some of the issues I found just kind of playing around with it so far. First off, like the one minute how to install this, uh, go to the link, which I'll put in the description of the video. And uh, right here are all the instructions. Go to the release page. Download, if you're on Windows, the Windows version. If you know how to compile, you can get source code. Uh, from there, you will export and install uh, the file and open up the EXE. And uh, looks like this once you open it. And then it's literally as simple as on this main tab, finding the pathway to your Diablo 2 Resurrected installation, pasting the name here. I would recommend doing this copy settings.json. This will copy like all of your audio settings, your graphical settings into um, the mod. And then uh, there's a couple ways you can make it uh, create a shortcut in your desktop just by clicking on this button. Uh, you can set uh, to uh, launch to unmodded or modded. So this will actually make when you open a Battle.net and you click play, either launch the modded or the unmodded version. I don't really like this when I'm launching from Battle.net. Generally, I'm playing the normal game. I use this option where it just creates a separate shortcut on my desktop. I know if I'm launching that, I'm playing the mod. And then if I'm going from Battle.net, I'm always playing the unmodded version. And this is using Blizzard's mod tools. This should not get you banned. I've never heard of anyone getting banned. It will not let you play this online, period. It won't. Um, but uh, I'll be showing you how that looks when you log in in just a second. Um, and then when you're actually uh, ready to play, you can click this generate button. Uh, it puts all of the files in the correct places. Um, and basically it, uh, you launch the game and it adds a key to your character's inventory. This is what lets you know that the mod was actually installed is that key starting on your character. After that, I would exit out of the game and then come back here and you can actually play with all the individual settings. And I'm gonna go through that now. First off, uh, item randomiz randomizer. So this will make crazy impossible items. Mods on item types that don't fit. It'll make the uniques all different. Uh, and you can just go in here. You have to check the box to be able to make changes here. And then you can you can change the craziness level. Um, you know, how appropriate the mods are for the, the item type. How many original properties to keep from the original item type. There's even a drop down here. You know, I want to be an overpowered machine. I want to have some fun without flying into space, or I want to have a fresh experience, but balanced if possible. I'm going to go with overpowered. What I'm going to try to do tonight is play uh, a little bit more difficult version of the game, but also have some of the crazy items and density things that will kind of change up the game. Uh, I recently did a full playthrough on a um, hardcore solo self-found Necromancer on the ladder, and it was probably the most stressful experience I've had in Diablo 2 in a long time. And I just kind of want to play something fun and exciting tonight and not have to really worry about dying uh, at any moment. Though I, that is definitely possible with this mod with the density I'm going to be playing with. So I'm going to go with I want to be overpowered. This makes the craziness factor 100%. So you'll see all kinds of crazy mods where they're not supposed to be. Um, yeah. Uh, prevent duplicate properties, randomize magic and rare affixes, random gems and rune properties. So all of your runes, all of your gems, every single thing in the game, uh, items, all that uh, is all randomized. You can replace skills with O skills. So items that would normally give, you know, plus two for sorcerers only will suddenly uh, be for all classes. Same thing with charges on O skills. You can re remove knockback and monster flea. I'm just going to leave all these on. Uh, we'll go to Ma Monster Randomizer. This changes um, the types of enemies that will spawn in each zone. So I'm going to have this all the way up just so I can see, you know, as many types of enemies. 
and then the maximum variety for each area. So I'm going to max both these out just so we can see some craziness. Skill randomizer. This will actually randomize all of the skills on your character, meaning that character, the sorceress I'm going to play, it could have a level one uh, firewall. It could have a level 30 fire bolt. Um, this isn't necessarily balanced, but I think it's kind of a fun addition. One thing I noticed is uh, I, I loaded up a character and they had no attack skills at the first tier for a sorceress, meaning it was like all masteries and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I can't play like this. I'll delete the character and make it over again. And I noticed the skills remain the same. The only way I found to be able to reset the skills your character has is to go down here and create a new seed. Um, because otherwise, every time you make a sorceress, it's going to have the same skill layout. Every time you make a necromancer, etc., it will have the same skill layout. But if you come over here, create seed, it resets uh, the seed, I think, that it's pulling all of these randomized elements from, and you'll see a new skill layout. And uh, I did that just because, like, I don't want to have to wait till level 12 on a sorceress to have, uh, you know, a damage chilling spell. Um, so I'm going to do random skills. I'm not going to do randomize on the element types. I think that's a little silly, especially because it says here that it's it doesn't actually tell you in the game what the new element type is. So like you'll have a, a fireball that might be doing poison, but it doesn't actually tell you that on the skill. So like I don't want to do a lot of guesswork while I'm playing through monster stats. Um, you can increase you know damage, attack rating, defense, health, all that stuff. I'm going to double up the experience here just to have like a crazy uh, time tonight. Uh, I'm going to leave um monster damage and hp where they are if i get crazy overpowered i might come in here increase this uh the main thing i am changing up tonight is going to be the density though and um i first booted this up and i tried it all the way maxed out and i'll show you just a quick clip of that here evil beware As you can see, um, starting out as a level one with that kind of density is just not a fun experience. Literally, you walk out there and you get hit by 50 bolts at once. Uh, I found, um, you know, starting this a little bit lower and then as you get a few skills and actually the ability to kill monsters, increasing this is uh, the most fun. So I'm probably going to start this. Actually, I might lower what this is, is this is the overall density. This is the number of boss packs. And then uh, this is the monster group population. So imagine like the density I would say is like the number of groups and then this is like how big those groups are. So if I make this 20, there are 20 times the density of groups. But then by also increasing this, it makes each of those groups have more uh, total um, people in it. And early on, if you have this really high, those groups will be massive and you'll have a very hard time. So like maybe starting with a density of like three or five on a brand new character and then having um, you know, the, the monster group population be like slightly higher. And then I think if I get overpowered, I will probably stop the run briefly, come out here and uh, increase that. There's a challenge options in here. Uh, you can make it where no health drops, no health pots drop, no mana pots, uh, change resistance penalties, um, make it where in nightmare, you know, you start with uh, minus, 250 resistance to all, you know, instead of 40. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just reset this. I'm not going to mess with this one at the moment. If I want to do like a, a challenge run later, I might use that. Roger Cube, Cube there's a bunch of interesting um, recipes in here. Things like you don't need a gem to upgrade runes. That's actually pretty cool. I might I might enable that one just for, for fun here. Uh, some of these are pretty crazy. Um, you don't need a leg for the cow portal. You can do a Uber uh emit minor uber or uber tristum just with a tp book and either two scrolls or three i'm probably not going to get that far tonight so i'm not going to use that at the moment maybe i'll play around with it later uh, all kinds of stuff you can add sockets just with really basic items i'm not going to run with most of these but if if you get kind of in the end game and you just want to play around you could certainly turn these on gambling you can increase 
uh, the gambling rates, which actually I might do just to see some more crazy items. Like, uh, goes up to 500, maybe we'll increase it to like 100. And then set chance, maybe we'll do like 50. I can just type it in here, I suppose. Uh, rare chance, sure, we'll go a little bit higher there. Won't let me. Oh, is this a percentage? Oh, there it went. Okay, so this is just a one, two, three, four. Probably because they're so high by default. Okay, we'll leave those where they're at. And then you can also increase the upgrade chance for uh, exceptional and elite. I, I'm probably not going to get past normal in this initial playthrough, so we'll leave it there. I've checked to add a Roger cube by default. Uh, you know what? Let's replace ID scrolls with tomes. And you know what? I'm starting a sorceress. So let's replace the starting health pots with mana pots. You can change things like starting, excuse me, uh, level up stat points, level up skill points. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that. You can also change hard uh, points for skills. Many can go above 20. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to do that. You can also increase mercenary health or damage. Maybe uh, you want to actually have your mercenary do something. For once. Quality of life stuff here. Increase tome size. Sure, why not? Increase key size. Uh, I'm not going to use quivers at all, so that doesn't matter. We have limit on unique charms. You could have multiple charms. Allow using teleport. Uh, battle orders in town. Great. Show eye level of items. Eh. Reduced cost of skills and stats on items. So this is like, sometimes items can be millions of gold to repair. That's fine. You can change the drop rates, and then you get again in here. I want to find Tyrael today. Just a little tired of finding Shaco. A little bit more of the good stuff. So this is by default. So you can go all the way up to 50 time unique chance. I'm gonna like. I want to see some of these crazy items. So we'll we'll put this kind of in the middle ish. And and set we'll do like 10. And just a little bit more rare. High level equipment. This will reduce the chance that equipment of lower level will drop as a fallback. For example, level 85 TC, there's a 98% chance it will drop to 84. Well, I'm not going to get that far. Allow quest drops from bosses, increase champion unique item count. You can also just manually say, like, I don't want any no drops, or I want a minimum no drops. I don't want any junk. I'm not playing with a, you know, an Amazon. I don't need bolts, whatnot. Uh, yeah. Increase rune drops. Again, there's a little selector up here, or you can manually do it. Give me piles of burr runes. I want to make infinity. Uh, I want runes to be rare. So if you put this too high, you will see a lot of runes. Like, even the really high, you know, cheated here, it only goes up to 200 out of a possible 1,000. Um, and then this one's like a 10. Uh, we'll probably leave it there. Perfect rolls. You can make it where uh, you always get perfect drops. Sure, that'll be fun. Requirements. Uh, let's just reset this. Uh, actually, I'm going to lower that. I, I did run into some items that had really peculiar uh, level requirements on it. So we could actually drop change quality level on regular items by a percentage. Oh, no, that's not what, it, not what I think it is. Is there... Okay, change character level requirements. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, the problem I was running into was on my Sorceress. Uh, the starting staff was too high a level to use because it's based on the level of the skill required. So, like, when I created my character, Firebolt was level 18 skill. So I couldn't use that starting staff until level 18. So we're going to just lower these in case there's any shenanigans with the character uh, level requirements on anything. Yeah. Okay. And that's everything. So I probably spent way too much time explaining uh, how this works and um, what I'm using tonight. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in the game. Now to actually make this happen, I just hit generate here. And now when I launch the game from the newly created shortcut, it will take me into the modded version with all of my, my changes selected. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you're launching from the new shortcut on your desktop. And, um, yeah, you'll notice online play is not available. Blizzard has disabled modding online, obviously. 
Uh, this is by design. That's just how Blizzard does modding for D2R. It's unfortunate. Um, you can only play offline. We're going to go ahead and start a Sorceress. And like I said before, um, every time you reset that seed, all of the skills on your character are going to be reset. Good day. And, okay, right off the bat, that sucks. Firebolt is level 24 skill, so my staff requires level 24. So I'm going to be starting out with nothing. Uh, Meteor? Not the best level 1 skill, just it doesn't have a huge radius. Like, it's got good damage, but and there's a ton of enemies in, like, a, the Meteor hits just such a small area. Not super useful. Static is awesome. One of my favorite low-level skills, so that was great. Uh, nothing else amazing here. Charge Bolt would have been better at level 1 than Meteor, to be honest. But let's keep going. 3, 2, 1, and Frozen Orb! Frozen Orb is probably my favorite skill in the game. It's not great in Hell. But it's so much fun in Nightmare, and I'm wondering, starting out with level 1, what kind of shenanigans I can get into. Got Lightning Mastery, kind of, that's an odd one to start out with. Got Choices on Armor, TK pretty deep in the tree, Ice Bolt way down here, so the Synergy. But I also don't have to put any points to be able to use it, that's kind of cool. Where is Teleport, though? Okay, level 1 Teleport, which I have the mana to do exactly one of right now. Cold Mastery, you know what? Fireball. I've got Meteor pretty much set up here. So, like, Fireball, Frozen Orb, Meteor, all, like, right away. And then I got Fire Mastery, Cold Mastery. I can get T Teleport, Static. Like, I am set, I think. Let let's get to it. Where have stopped following me? One other thing. Um, it started with this key because I had that box checked. This is a way to tell that the mod is installed. And, uh, like, if you haven't turned up on any of the zany settings, like, this will immediately say, oh, I'm in the mod version, obviously. Also, I thought I told it to give me the TP scroll uh, book as well, but that's weird. I do have the density up a little bit, not as much as I can put it. I'll probably increase it once I get a level, just because I, I'm honestly just punching dudes right now. So we're going to take this kind of cautiously. I almost got one shot. Let's go back to a car real quick. I should be fine once I get one level because uh, then I'll have Frozen Orb and literally I'll just be clearing packs at a time, though I'll be spamming. I don't know why I used Mana Potion there because, you know, you always start with Health Potions, but I had it start me with Mana because I thought I'd have a spell and I obviously don't, so that's kind of silly. Not here. <sighs> That fire is, uh, dangerous. Yep. After... You know what, we're just gonna reset it because I don't feel like dealing with, uh... Balrogs right at the gate. Good day. You can tell this is live because... Yeah, I would have just restarted otherwise. Evil beware. Skellies. And this density is honestly like lower than I'll probably play once I get like five levels. Just because punching four hundred guys at once is literally impossible. I don't even think Mr. Llama could do it. This is so silly though, like I wish it just started to do with a skill point. That would be a... If there's something they could add, start with one skill point. I would love that. Because this is kind of stupid. Unless there's some way to make that level requirement not based off of the skill level. Okay. So I'm going to start off with Frozen Orb, obviously. Now let's uh, see if we can get two enemies together and not get killed. And he almost just leveled again. Level 3 already. You can see the density is like 
I think I have it at three or four times. But this will go up to like, what is it, 50 times I want to say? Another level, I'll get a couple rares. I don't even know if it's worth picking up the items because I'm going to be seeing some crazy stuff here pretty soon. Obviously this is super cheated. Like, the difficulty is here because of the density and stuff. But it's also like, you know, crazy amounts of fun just because I get Frozen Orb at level 1. And I'm out of mana again. With no potions. Let's see, did they drop any? Did I miss any? Got a weapon. There we go. Pick you up, you might sell. You will sell, probably. I'm just hoping to level or get a mana potion. Keep this train going. Keep the people entertained. I might do a live stream on this later. I'm kind of just putzing around with it, kind of getting the ropes. Um, but I definitely... I don't live stream as much. I've got a daughter who tends to wake up in the middle of the night and makes it difficult to do anything live. Alright, we're going to go get some mana pots. So uh, that's why I don't live stream a whole lot. I tend to also like to have as high a quality as I can um, on all of my footage. So it's I usually play, holy crap, plus four Necro on a rare Scepter. And Lifesteal Crushing Blow. 50 resistance? This is the first item I have identified on this character. What? But I just got plus seven to all Necro skills. 30 attack speed. Look how many look how many different uh, mods there are too. That's um that's a thing. Unfortunately, I have to sell you because I need some potions. But I think I'll hold on to that scepter. You know what? I'm gonna see crazy stuff on this mod, and obviously, it's it's cheated up the wazoo, like the the drops. Do I want to keep pumping? It's only half a point, but you know what? We'll go Cold Mastery just to get a little more damage, even though I really don't need it. And teleport. So one and two. Get some more HP. So maybe I should go Mana and Energy Shield or something. We are looking for the Den of Evil. Usually you follow the path. I should have taken my TP back. I don't know why I did not. And you know what? I'll probably increase the density here pretty soon. Just because it's not as crazy as I would like. Alright, yeah, there's the Den. Just a level up. Let's see what kind of crazy rare I got there. I haven't seen any uniques, and I've got uniques turned up up the wazoo too. Okay. This place is trouble. Level 36 though. I swear I turned the level requirements down. 75. Look at the resists on that thing. Plus, this will give me Blessed Hammer and Chain Lightning and Tornado. It is redonkulous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, obviously, you can play around with this mod in a lot of different ways, like taking it to, to 50 like I have with the items here. But you can also really adjust this a lot more granularly. That is giving me 50 all resists. Oh, those guys in the Den of Evil are going to be a pain. I don't even know why I'm doing the den with, like... Okay, so that wasn't too different. I've already got 93 mana. All from that, I think. Yeah, plus 50 to mana. 
I need mana. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. <laughs> I doubled the experience, but you could take it like so much higher, but I'm leveling up level six. Haven't even cleared the den yet. That'd be six required. The rate I'm going, that probably won't take all that long though. I need mana. Not enough mana. I need mana. It's like the only area in the game that you have to clear it out completely. Well, I guess there's a couple of the little I need mana. like uh little events, but mana. And of course, I've got the resurrecting and the healing the zombies that come back, like every possible dude that's just kind of annoying for this area is of course here. I didn't even think about like how crazy the magical I can't use this yet. This level. I swear I lowered the requirements. Not enough mana. But maybe it's just how crazy those stats are. I need mana. Let's do it all. Mana. I wonder how high I can get my plus skills before I leave normal. Stupid poison. I've got 50 resistance. Alright, let's see. Chip Sapphire. 10% chance of casting Charge Bolt, 75 attack rating, 80% enhanced damage. Look at that armor. All resistance 14, 220% enhanced damage on a chipped sapphire. That's, um, yeah, that's pretty random. I'm at 1 HP. With no, with no health potion. There we go. How long does this poison last? Jeez. Am I just, are these guys just too low level to give me uniques or is something bugged? Because like I definitely have it up a bit. I was expecting to see more uniques. I'll, when I go to increase the density here in a minute, I'll go play with it. Make sure I've got it um, at the right level. Everything requires a higher level. I need mana. I need mana. Not enough mana. You're very needy. I don't even have enough mana to teleport reliably yet. Ow. Alright, did all those skeletons pop back up, I bet. Not enough mana. Okay, five left. There are still five left because those stupid skeletons keep getting back up. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Oh. 
There one. Not enough mana. I don't know why I'm frozen over being individual guys that I could just. So slow with no FCR. I've never played a level one this that has teleport. Has been purged of evil. I can't. Impossible. It's like there's. I don't even know what to keep and what to get. What the. 30 increased attack speed, 50 poison, 2 chilling armor, 2 mana after each kill. Okay, that will take care of my mana problem once I hit level 12. This is ridiculous, alright? This is... I'm playing Diablo 3 right now. Literally. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna back out and just go back in because I don't have any teleports on me. And I am lazy. My apologies for being a lazy SOB. But not really. Okay, plus one to all skills, plus one to fire. I feel like by the time I hit level 36, I'm going to see even crazier stuff, but two necro skills. Puh, 50 resistance garbage. Garbage. About, um,. The stuff they sell, do they also follow the same crazy rules? Let's look at the armor and stuff. Yeah, send me to go kill Blood Raven. Hi there. They do n okay. Ten, ten, ten mana life steal. That that's not that's not very normal. All right, there's a hundred more mana. Plus fire skill. Nine thousand. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough in normal right now. Uh, hundred percent mana stolen per hit, and sixty-five fire damage. That's that's a thing. Okay, should have a little easier time now. We'll hold on to you for a little while, and we'll go buy some mana pots. Yes. Yeah, I don't need big health potions, I don't think. But maybe I do. We're gonna do this little trickaroo. Let us continue. I haven't even used these skill points. We're gonna need static eventually. Should I just keep... I mean, Frozen Orb is one-shotting literally everything right now. Maybe I should do an armor. Eventually I want telekinesis, so I'm gonna need to get both of these. So, we'll do a chilling armor. Just so when I get surrounded by guys, it's um, not so crazy. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go bump up that density a little bit. Not like 20, but like a few. Okay, so uh, I increased the density up to 7 out of 20, and um, the packs, I think, put it at 2. And then also increased the number of boss packs. So we'll see how crazy this gets. Okay, out of 20, this is with a 7 and a 2. I could, I could do 20, 20, 20, basically. And I've got it like 7, 5, 2 on the little bar. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, pretty crazy. I also don't know why I'm not seeing uniques, because I definitely have the unique drops, like, way higher. Okay, this is... I definitely need to move to a new area, though. I'm level 8, so I'm getting, like, no experience here. And I'm out of mana. 
Yeah, this is where, like, too high a density can be a little bit of an issue. What's the diamond do? 5% mana stolen per hit. Shield poison resist 25. Not as good as um, the sapphire for sure. Resists there. It is possible I increase the density too much, because the problem I'm going to run into is it's going to be, like, impossible, you know, to teleport across the screen with that kind of density. But it is fun. There's, like, there's probably a good middle point where it's like, this is, this is ridiculous, and this is fun. Level 30. Level 36. But obviously there's so much granularity in the settings that like if you if you want to just make you know a harder run, it is definitely possible just to increase monster damage, increase monster density without going crazy with the randomness. Like you can actually make better more drops, but remove the randomness from them altogether. Um, you can you can make it where it's closer to like the regular game or further from the regular game. Like there is a lot of granularity. Um, to to how crazy you can make it. I think that's really cool. You know, just for the video, this is obviously, like, taking it pretty high. Um, just to show you kind of how far you can take it. There's a unique. And I'm going to die before I can pick it up. But with, like, the number of enemies I'm killing and, like, how high I bumped it up, I would definitely expect more uniques. I don't know. That's, that's weird to me. I'm not even using health potions because I'm just like letting my level leveling up um, take care of it for me. I can't. Uh, one to all skills. Can't use it yet. Phil Oak Club. That is not the normal stats for that, I don't think. Plus 29 to Hydra? Plus 29 to Hydra. Okay. That's... What level was that? I gotta get it out of this area. These guys, they're not giving me much experience. This is super dangerous. I need mana. Not enough mana. There we go. Wavy, you got those guys, right? Not enough mana. You need to like get a level fifty. Um. Warmth for the mana regeneration here. So, I haven't seen anything that had like a huge strength requirement, but I'm sure I'm gonna get some eventually, but I'm gonna keep bumping up health just because with the density, otherwise I'm gonna get smoked. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna find better. Wait, did that have plus five tornado, plus two battle command, plus three blessed hammer. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You know, a little zero amulet plus plus 50 all resists. I'm going to hold this for just the 29 Hydra. That's crazy. Let's look at some jewels. Oh, you know, it's only a 210% enhanced damage duel. 
Christ, that's amazing. I gotta store some of this stuff. Though, like, with the rate of drops, and with this density, I don't even know what the point is. I'll come back to this stuff. I should have gone with a melee guy with the, with the increased damage on some of that stuff. Buy a tome of uh, TP also. I should be able to just like burn through. Since I got teleport. And I'm gonna have crazy damage here pretty soon. Thing is, like, every single time a rare drops, I want to see what it is. I guess even a wand could be crazy. Oh, wait, what did that? Plus 33 to Hydra. Between those two items, that's like plus 50 to Hydra, right? I'm not 100% how those stack, though. Do they. Is it one or the other? I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Oh, just some boots with plus two to all skills, you know, nothing major. I can't carry anymore. It's almost like it's too much where it becomes not as fun because of how insane it all is. I could definitely. Like, there were settings, obviously, in there that kind of, like, were half-steps between just pure insanity and what is, you know, what is possible. I can't carry anymore. Plus 18 to Inferno, 5 to Cold Arrow, 25 life, 190% enhanced defense. Redonkulous. I get to get all these gems just to see what they are. I am overburdened. The charm. All right, I'll put you there because you're actually doing something for me. There is dark magic at work here. I really don't need to kill Blood Raven, but I'm right here, so I might as well. I'm literally not even spending any cult any points because. Frozen Orb is still one-shotting everything in normal, obviously. And it's stun locked here. I am overburdened. Not enough mana. I know, I know. The slowest teleport in the world. Coupled with the, like the smallest potions in the world. Let's see if we can get like a plus twenty. I don't even know if I'm going to get all the way through normal. It's just like too... Like seeing the stuff is insane. 
And with the density, it's definitely a little bit harder. Like just one mistake, and I can, I can totally die. Frozen armor, warmth. All right, well that give me warmth when I hit level 24 if I want. Experience shrine. I don't know how that stacks with everything else. If you didn't start with a good AoE ability, like this this would be impossible if you were like Firebolt or um you know Frostbolt or something. Like you'd have to go charge bolt if you weren't doing the randomizer with the skills. If I've enhanced damage on a no level, <laughs> that's awesome. Ridiculous, but awesome. Level skills. I definitely got to get some levels. Let's look at this boots. Get the boots with the fur. Due to all skills, level 36. One Amazon skills. I, I was thinking, like, melee would just obviously be overpowered, but with how crazy the plus skills are here, like, I feel like I could get, like, plus 100 to all skills without too much effort. I need mana. Stony I need field. Mana. Is that a gold dagger, but what's it gonna... What's it actually gonna be? Impossible. Let's get that and that. Okay. One to all skills, two to combat skills, faster cast rate, deadly strike, defense strength, vitality. Okay. Is that an actual item? I'm not recognizing it at the top of my head. There's so many stats, it's like, I can't even read it. It's blinding me. I love the Moldy Tomb. The Countess who had once bathed in the blood of... It's so good. I love that that voice actor uh, who did all the narration in Diablo 2. I think he came back. Was it? Was he the narrator in Diablo 3? Not that there's as much. I can't remember. I just know the writing and, and videos and everything were definitely not as good in Diablo 3 as 2. Even though, like, if you read about the history on Diablo 2, the people that made the videos had like no communication with the people who made the game. So like the people that are making the game suddenly got like, hey, here's the here's the videos we made so far, and they're like, Who the hell is this wanderer and who is the other person that's not the player character? Like, what is going on? And then they had to insert the dark wanderer like into the game. Like you see him Oh, well, you see him in Act 3 and, and a couple other spots, and it's like it totally works, and it seems like something they had intended, but if you, you go and read some of the interviews, you know, from years later, like, none of that was intended. Like, it was kind of just a happy accident. Which I find hilarious. It turned into, like, one of the, the most iconic, you know, storyline elements. Okay, we're gonna have to go and get some... Uh, Pots and clear the inventory. Thanks. Thanks, bro. <laughs> We're just gonna wear that just because. It's, it's like, I want to hold on to this stuff, but I know I'm gonna find even crazier stuff. So if it's not like 
immediately helping. Okay, there are no requirements, but it has minus 15% requirements. That's amazing. Hundred and seventy percent enhanced damage, you know, garbage. I don't want to hold on to any of this stuff. Gonna look at it as I go. All right, underground passage. Though I should probably get the waypoint here first. I need mana. Not enough mana. Okay, there's some set items. I need mana. I need mana. I almost feel like the rares have been better though. Because I think the set items kind of follow like the stats of another set, but look at that 500 gold damage, it's crazy. You could actually use it too. 3 to Frost Nova, 25 all resist. Maybe I was just too low level to see sets. Uh, 25 dex, 8% life stolen. Uh, versus 100 mana, 100% mana stolen. The barb skill, increased attack speed, enhanced defense. Was this plus 30? Wait, was that? Am I fighting? That looked like a merc for a second, or was I- did I- did I just totally miss that? Fire skills, which I'm not even using. I'll resist, sure. Lightning skills, magic damage, uh, okay. I'm getting all these chippies, because some of them are ridiculous. How is my Merc not, like, melting? And when these guys die, am, am I... I'm hearing, like, the mercenary death sound, or am I just going crazy? I swear I, I keep hearing it, and that's why I'm, like, looking around for the Merc to be dead, and it's not. Maybe it's those guys, and they just sound similar, and I never noticed. I definitely do not have enough mana, as she keeps telling me. I got a decent amount of defense at this point, though. Maybe it's just because I'm such a high level versus them. Alright, Dark Woods. Fair amulet. Charm. Still one-shotting everything with um 
with my frozen orb. Uh, garbage. Um. Okay, so that has interesting same stats. You know how much that would be worth on Battle.net? Small charm with minus 20 to enemy cold resist, lightning resist, 2 mana. Plus 3 to fire, plus 2 to bar, 40 increased attack speed. Eh, you know, it's okay. I can actually use that. It's 50 all resist, 85 life, attack speed, barbarian, 3 to fire skills. Not really using much in the way of fire skills at the moment. Yeah, the sets are kind of disappointing. Kind of just need to move through here because I'm like, I'd say I'm kind of too high of a level for for these guys to really give me much experience. I can literally just punch guys to death at this stage. I need mana. Whack. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Alright, waypoint. I can go take Kane if I want to. But I want to. I need mana. This ancient tree has an aura of magic about it. Probably gonna like push through all of normal real quick. I can kind of skip a lot. Get somewhere I can actually level up again. Alright, so we'll go talk to Akara. Oh. The way we don't have like a million things I'm identifying all at once. That's pretty crazy. It's like some of these items are so ridiculous that I don't want to sell them. But obviously I'm going to get better stuff, like, in just minutes, probably. Alright, so let's go to... Rakadishu. Which was right over this way. If I get, like, crazy overpowered, I might just go and turn up the density, like, to the point where it crashes my computer. Tristram was no match for Diablo's skill. So many items. It's like, it's hard to know what to even pick up anymore. Kind of just picking up any cool rares I see. You know, it is kind of fun that, like, the best drops are rares, just because, like, the number of mods and... Stay a while and listen. Two to all skills again. 24. Can't use it. Got a ring. So they said mana. Uh, yeah, we'll place you. 100 mana. Yeah, I kind of need mana. Do anything for me. Can't use you yet. I just noticed that is 100% enhanced damage. And then that crazy cold. I could use Frost Nova actually. But Frozen Orb is just that much better. Guess I should start putting some points into strength. Get up to like 55. Going. Oh, 
just gonna teleport around here. I just need an item that gives me like 100 FCR. That would be awesome right now. I mean, that doesn't seem that unbelievable, actually. Forgot to refill my potions while I was in town. I just whiffed on that, too. This is fun, but it's also just kind of, like, broken. Like... Like, it's fun to putz around with, but definitely, like, if you have, like, playing ladder in, what, two weeks, three weeks from now, uh, is also, like, on my mind. I'm, I'm definitely excited about that. Um, and it seems like they are taking the feedback from people and fixing the Sundered Charm so that they actually work with, with uh, like, pets and, and everything, which may make it actually... Uh, usable on a Hydra build, which is kind of the direction I was thinking about going. I, I feel like I'm getting a little desynced, where it's like, suddenly, my, um... My skill just doesn't go off, but I see, like, the animation for it. A little, a little weird. I am overburdened. To get some potions here in a minute. Also, some mana on a kill would definitely be a great benefit right now. Let's go refill our potions real quick. And get her buddy back. Let's go see if we can get her a cool weapon. There's so much on the screen right now. And the density's only at like 7 out of 20. Oh, my dude died. Should I go kill? I guess I can. This is super dangerous. I mean, I'm over leveled, clearly. Definitely curious what she drops. Uh, my mouse just went super funky. Where's my cursor? I think my mouse just died in a second. Okay, so my mouse died and I just backed out and had to restart. Uh, look at this thing. 40 IAS, 30 hit recovery, 330% enhanced damage. That is amazing for a melee character. I might hold on to that. Boots with plus 3 to all skills. Crushing blow. Out of command. Like, some of this stuff, if we had it online, would be just insane. Uh, so let's see, where did I leave off? Try to uh, catch up where I was and just I think I'm just gonna finish act one tonight I don't want this video to be like hours long. So maybe I'll do just an act one and then um, uh, Maybe I'll do Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, depending on if there's any, uh, any interest in seeing more of this. Or if there's, like, any specific, um, kind of setup you might be interested in, like, uh, you know, making it harder, making it easier, changing the items around. I wish you could do this online, that would be fun to be able to do this with other, other people. Life steal. Uh, 
looking for anything with FCR. Excuse me. I really haven't seen anything yet. It's definitely the bane of my existence right now. Get some little meditation. That'd be excellent. All right, some highlight. Now we're moving. Now we're cooking with Crisco. I tried to import a higher level character just to see, and I could not get them to show up. Look at that. Two, two of the same item. Uh, so I don't know if it's you know whatever changes happen in the game if it won't let you import. An existing character, but uh, that kind of sucks. It'd be cool to see kind of the end. Nice. 250% enhanced damage to all skills. 20% chance of a level 10 static field on striking. I kind of want to test that. Especially the static just going off. That would be crazy for a melee. Like, the, the crazy ridiculous build. Like, you can get basically every ability in the game on just about any item. Like, the combinations are just insane. I hit the wrong button there. Not even like getting any experience at this stage. I really just need to uh, get into Act Two, do some tomb runs. Lost my. Beautiful. Increased mana regeneration. I need mana. Let's go refill real quick. I can't. Well, you certainly can. I wonder if I got anything I can use. Yes. Speed fire skills. Another crazy enhanced damage charm. I'm getting all these enhanced damage charms. I have no. Not much that's great for a. I didn't even look. See, most of these don't have enough mods on them to be crazy. I think I think it's the rares that are really insane. Oh, I have holy freeze. What the hell is giving me holy freeze? Except that I'm gonna have to keep it over there, and I can't teleport. But... Not in town. I suppose I can, uh... Yeah, that'll work. Um, I can use these now. Really don't add much, though. Actually, this gives two mana after each kill. That'll probably help. I had a melee. I'm, I almost want to start a melee just to, like, take advantage of some of these. Reason I'm probably gonna end this soon is I am very tired. It's been a long day at work. Thought I heard a rune. But I don't see a rune. Taking a little bit of damage. 
I might actually turn the uniques down just because, like, they've been kind of disappointing. Due to offensive, due to barbarian, due to Amazon, increased IAS, blah, 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 blah. And bone, IAS. Where is my FCR? I'm getting no FCR. Actually, be better. That's 50 all resist. Easy enhanced damage, life steal. Probably put those on my bar. I've been eating mana so much I haven't been. I hope the sisters appreciate this thing. Turn that shit in. Oh. Greetings. Yeah, when the ladder starts, I think I'm leaning towards maybe a Hydra if they've actually fixed um, those charms to work with with castable spells, like, uh, I mean, a summon spell. Interesting. Still not very good for my purposes. I'm just kind of holding on to all this weird stuff. That that thing where every time I cast, it's long gone now. Uh, I take I take damage. That's super annoying. Not here. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the thing Thank enabled where I can teleport in town. It's so awkward to do that. Charms have been really ridiculous. I can't carry anymore. It's been such a long run, mostly because like every single item I want to pick up and look at, like every rare, every magic, like. I don't- I'm still not even wearing any gloves or boots, or did they break? I thought I- I swear I put on some boots earlier. Alright, wait one more. Make sure. I thought I had something on. Did I take it off when I was examining just... things? It was, it's probably because of the high level requirement. Just use those. Uh, yeah, not very useful for me. Damage, resist, fire mastery, to all skills. Too soon. Maximum cold resist. Pretty garbage, pretty garbage.
I've not played as much in like the last month. Like I, when Ladder started, I played hardcore, uh, Necro, solo self-bound, got all the way through Hell Difficulty. And then um, I kind of burned myself out. I played like so much for like two weeks straight. I was like, you know what? I need a little break. I'm going to come back to this uh, when the next ladder starts. And I almost probably took like two months off. And uh, played just a little bit like with the PTR and checking stuff out. But I'm definitely eager to uh, start the ladder. And this is definitely like a fun diversion. Just playing with this crazy randomizer. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing though. Like, it's just too much. I feel like the items, like as fun as they are to see, it kind of makes the game just not, mana. not as fun. I need mana. I need mana. I need mana. I need mana. I just have like no mana. mana. I need mana. I'm actually getting experience again though. I'm gonna get warmth at 24. With all the plus skills I'm gonna have it might actually be worthwhile. I think warmth is like that skill that all the noobs take. And then once you actually know it barely does anything. It's like, oh, oh it does kinda suck. In her cloister. And let's go look at her her booty. Impossible. I mean, not not the sorceress's booty, but her, her plunder, her loot, her fun stuff. Hello. Uh, mana. I think the resists are probably maxed out. Yeah. The, the plus two to skill is kind of nice. Uh, one fire skill, IAS, terror, strength, dexterity. Yeah, it's kind of garbage. Fire skills. Just 30 fire damage. I thought that said plus 30 to fire skills, and I was like, holy crap. It's 4 to fire right there. It's weird that it's got sorcerers only also. 100 mana, life, strength, dex, defense. Man of Steel, all kinds of stuff. To the end of Act 1 here. I know where I'm going, I swear. This place chills me to the bone. It's honestly, it's the fatigue toxins getting to me. Getting up at six o'clock in the morning. <sighs> the daughter who uh, wakes you up in the middle of the night half the time. It gets to you. It's worth it though. She's pretty awesome. They don't change how um, old mastery impacts the Sundered Charm. It's like, I have a feeling everyone is going to be playing uh, Blizzard Sorceress. It's just like, there's no point of playing anything else when they get that large of a reduction after the Sundered Charm takes effect. I am overburdened. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Mastery for damage, 100% mana stolen per hit. I guess I could just hit guys to get mana. I never think to do that. Let's try it. Let's see. 
Actually, I've got my left click as frozen over right now because I've got my uh, aura on too. One thing that was a little annoying about the other two was the fact that melee could uh, basically leech, you know, and didn't have to really worry about life and mana, whereas casters always had to. is back to sleep. FCR. Not much of it, but a little bit. With some resistance. Slain monsters rest in peace. Plus nine to ravens. Get those ravens go. Curse. That's the curse that every time you cast something, you lose that much health. And like, yes. every time I teleport, I'm losing 25 HP. It's ridiculous. Good day. That's the one thing that's kind of annoying is like, you're so used to certain enemies being in certain areas, and you suddenly run into a guy that's got like just an impossible curse to deal with. That slain in peace is pretty awesome. Let's see if I can one shot her. Yep. The evil queen has fallen. I can't carry anymore. Impossible. So, two to all plus three to fire. Whereas that gives me plus four to fire, but that's... Wow, look at the defense on that, too. IAS, chance of blocking, mana... Chance of damage, resists, mana, deck strength. For the, the defense alone early on, it'll keep you from getting hit by anything. Yeah, these set items kind of suck. Well, I mean, that helm has 200% enhanced damage. But... Impossible. It's crazy, I've got so much enhanced damage stuff on a sorceress. I should almost make her melee. Looking for something for this lady. I can't use that yet. You should be. Can she not use a longbow? I can't use that yet. Huh, that's weird. She's got. She's got the strength and the dex and the level. Must be some kind of bug with the mod, maybe. Good use. Go to Act 2. I'm going to end the video for the evening. I've got to get to bed here pretty soon. But um, you can see what this mod does. It is ridiculous. You know, let's look at the charms and stuff. So it changes what, what every gem, what every rune uh, does by default. You know, like... The Amethyst is giving me amp damage 
not like charges, but just gives me plus three to amp damage. Uh, cold absorb damage. Uh, attacker takes 14, 5 mana stolen. Uh, 1 to 2 cold damage, that kind of sucks. With the randomness, sometimes you get really good things, sometimes you get really bad things. Um, you know, look at 100% damage to demons, 50% fire resist, plus 7 to terror. So much randomness. 220% uh, enhanced damage, all resistance plus 14 on armor and helms. That's insane. But it's also kind of funny, because obviously, like, these are impossible items to get in the normal game. This is all just, like, kind of playing around and messing around. Um, I think I might, it, maybe after the ladder, I'll bounce back to the randomizer, and I'm thinking I might try to do a normal to hell difficulty, um, but bring down the randomizer a bit, a little bit less crazy on the items. Um, increasing density, increasing difficulty... Um, probably increasing drops just to see, but also lowering, like, the variance in them so they're not as impossible as some of the stuff we're seeing here. You know, plus two to all, plus three on a low-level item. Uh, kind of, I'll play around with the settings, but it's definitely, if you just want to go balls to the wall and just see, like, the impossible stuff you can get up to, um... It can get pretty crazy pretty easy. So this is a really fun mod for making the game more random, for making it more difficult, for making it more fun. Um, yeah, and then when Ladder comes out, I will definitely be playing the regular game again. If you do want to see my last Ladder playthrough on the, my Hardcore Necro, uh, it's on the playlist of all my Diablo uh, games. I've got like 150 videos in there, plus a bunch of uh, guides and walkthroughs and how to do mods and how to do different character builds. Check it out. If you like it, please do like, subscribe, drop me a comment, and I do want to thank you for watching tonight. Have a great night, everybody.